Hey YouTubers, today what we're going to do is install the CEC enclosure on this 2017 Polaris Ride Command Special Edition. Just a couple things I have to do before we install the enclosure. I'm going to try to realign this lower door better um, so it fits tight, seals good. Uh, the speakers, they might clear, but just in case, we're going to loosen them up, slide them down make things a little easier on us. I know we have to drill some holes in the back here. I've already removed uh, the cooler and the toolbox so we'll get those removed. I'm gonna try to leave the Polaris factory mirrors on. That's why I got the finger A pillar. Um, we'll see if that's possible. If not, we might have to try something else with mirrors. Remove the bars here for the front bumper. The windshield will have to go. So I'm not going to bore you with all this little odds and ends. I'll get back to you when we're ready to install the enclosure. Okay, we got the door aligned on the passenger side. Um, the roof, the bolts are loosened almost taken out. I rotated the speakers so I wouldn't have to mess with them. We can deal with that later. We're going to try to leave the mirrors on like I said earlier because I got the finger A pillars. So this is the driver's side. We're going to feed these straps through. The old mirrors are going to have to come off. Let's try to fit just a little bit more on here. Start with the first snap. Okay, not too bad. Here's the first side. It's kind of a rough test fit. We have some of the straps done. Um, of course we haven't done anything down here, drilling holes. The A pillar I have snapped. I folded this front piece back to see if I can get away with leaving the mirrors, leaving the crash bar on. Um, so far it looks like we can get away with it, um, but I won't know until I get the windshield. I'm going to install the other side and the back panel which it's pretty simple. It's, everything just snaps on for right now. It's all just a test fit. Um, I am having a little issue right here uh, where this strap goes around. To me, for it to fit properly, it looks like it needs to be right here. 
um, where everything bolts together to the cage. But we'll get the other side on in the back and then we'll make sure that everything doesn't move up a little bit. If it does move up, we should be all right. Um, if not, I might just put a snap right here, my own snap in here to lock this down. So let's move on and go to the other side. Okay, so I know everybody wants to make it sound so easy um, putting this on, which it really is easy. But leaving your roof on and your visor, all that, I spent more time messing around with the roof, trying to fit it to get each door skin to be equal. It was so simple to take out four bolts on the roof. I'm take took out two on the visor. Um, I'm going to take those off. The mirrors with the A pillar fingers. It does work, and I probably could get away with not um, taking the mirrors off. But if you can see through the other side over there, let me show you. You can see over there, that's quite a big gap. So, with that gap being there on that side and one on this side, I'm going to take the mirrors off. And I have to install the windshield anyway. To install the windshield, the bars, support bars for the bumper, have to come off. So, I will just end up taking those off. And I don't even know if I'll put them back on for the winter. Um, but I will run them in the summer. So I'm going to pull a couple things off and I'll get back with you. But both sides are fit. Uh, they're doing really good. Remember we were talking about earlier I might have to drill and put my own snap down here. I don't think I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to go fit the back piece, get the visor off, get the mirrors off bumper supports and then I'll be back okay guys wrapping it up here everything's turning out really well um, I'm happy with the purchase uh, there's a few things that I could see I would really like I'm probably gonna do myself uh, I would like a snap back here and then maybe a male snap and a male snap which you already have them here and that's for when the window rolls up has this strap in there and you take that strap around and lock it into this male strap if you had another male strap on this side and a male strap down here you could have a little piece and snap this and snap this together and that would really tighten everything up. Um, I'll probably do that myself. Like I said, I'm thinking about doing one down here. Uh, so that would be on both sides. But all in all, this is a really good enclosure. Everything seems to be fairly tight. Um, one thing I will tell you, I'm getting ready to uh, drill for the snaps now pay attention here because if you look you have the angled piece of the body this one kind of wants to hit right there on that angle so when I end up going to drill you know I'm gonna start over here in the center and work my way over but I am gonna prepare myself to pull it and not put drill right into that corner because your snap's not going to hold you're going to want that snap up here in the flat part so it'll be right here you have to watch out for and this one right here also um, my snap wants to hit right in the not the middle maybe the bottom quarter of it so I'm going to have to push it up a little bit 
Uh, we'll see when I get to that. But let me get the snaps in and uh, we'll go from there. To mark the snaps, I'll put duct tape on here and I'll pull down, not just taut. I don't want to really yank on it. Pull it down, I push in really hard, and then it leaves the indention of the snap. I pick my center point. I will drill this. I'm using a little smaller than an eighth inch bit. Um, Joe said to use an eighth inch or smaller because they are self tapping screws. And don't use a drill to put this in. Just a screwdriver. Like I said, this will self tap that hole. Snug. And then what I'll do is I'll snap this. And I'll work my way. Work back to here. And forward and complete the process all right guys here's the finished product everything went very well um, like I said earlier I did have a few issues with the snaps wanting to land right on the corner no matter what I did, this one I just moved up a little bit. Uh, this one, you know, I pulled it over. Uh, I'm sure it's not a big problem of it landing on the corner. I just didn't want anything to get snagged in there and pull that snap out. Everything fits really nice. Um, I'll show you how to open a door here. Pretty easy. Zip. Reach your hand in. Doors open. So all in all, I'm real happy with the purchase that I made. I would recommend this product. To anyone out there looking for an enclosure, earlier I explained that I had the Click 6 seat belts and I thought they would be cut uh, to go around the seat belts, but they are not. There's just this extra amount of vinyl, is what I assume this is made out of. There's this extra amount of material to go around the click six seat belt harness with four snaps to hold the back down very nice product well now it's time to go out for a rip thanks have a good one